Hello, everyone. I'm Jing Cai Liu from Tsinghua University. Today, I'm glad to share our work, Genus, a unified distributed training framework for sparse mixture of experts model. In recent years, ChatGPT has led a new trend, and it has been applied in many applications, such as education, search engine, and personal assistance. It's also said that the powerful GPT-4 adopts mixture of expert structure. Besides, we can also see that the size of models are increasing rapidly, and many of recent huge models are MOE. So what is MOE? An MOE model includes many experts. The model takes sequence of tokens as input, such as a sentence. The model will select the specialized experts to handle each token and generate the output. As we can see, with a large amount of experts, MOE model have strong capability. MOE is usually combined with transformer. A transformer model consists of many transformer layer. Each layer mainly includes a tension layer and fifth ward network. As for MOE models, each layer mainly includes a attention layer, a gate, and many experts, which are fifth ward networks. After the token go past the attention layer, the gate will select the best fifth ward network for each token. Thus, each token only activates parts of experts. With sparsely activation, MOE is very computation friendly. For example, a GPT-3 model has 175 billion parameters, and each sample will require 732 trillion flops, while MOE model can have similar parameters to this model, but only requires 7.3% flops. Besides, high-performance GPU resources are scarce. It's reported that NVIDIA's best AI chips show out until 2024. Therefore, sparse MOE is a promising and necessary way to explore. Unfortunately, Training an MOE model is non-trivial, since the expert layer includes a huge number of parameters. Expert parison is required in distributed training. Specifically, the expert layer is split by workers. Existing solution to train MOE is inefficient because it requires cross-worker communication. There are two stages in each iteration, forward propagation and backward propagation. In the forward propagation, the tokens are sent to the target experts by auto-all -all communication. After the expert computation, the result will be fetched by another auto-all -all communication. So there are two auto-all -all communication in each MOE layer. Similarly, in the backward propagation, there are still two auto-all -all communications. Auto-all -all communication is very time consuming and slow down the chaining. We profile three cases of MOE models and find that the auto communication can account for a significant proportion in iteration, which makes the training inefficient. In case of GPT-3 with MOE model, there are even 384 times of auto communication required in each iteration. To train MOE models in an efficient way, we rethink the exchange of the auto communication. The goal of the auto communication is to put token and expert together and then execute computation. Existing solutions keep experts in place and exchange tokens by auto -all communication. So any other solutions? We propose that we can also keep token in place and fetch experts from remote. In our solution, the fifth world networks are exchanged between workers. After the required experts are fetched in the local GPU, the token can be directly executed in the local GPU and get the results. We name the existing solution as expert-centric since the experts are in place. And we name our solution as data-centric since tokens are in place. If the size of experts is much smaller than the size of tokens, data-centric is more efficient than expert-centric. Let's take an example to compare. When training MOE models in a 32 GPU cluster in this setting, expert-centric will generate 0.75 GB traffic across a machine for each layer where well, data centric has lower traffic workloads and can be more efficient. We also analyze the optimality of data centric, where you can obtain the gain of data centric as follows. Genus is a unified framework. When the gain is greater than one, it will adopt data centric. Otherwise, it will fall back to expert centric. 
As for the design and implementation, the first challenge is redundancy trap and limit GPU memory. For example, in this four GPU cluster, each worker should fetch three experts from other workers. However, without careful design, traffic is redundancy from the view of the whole machines. Besides, since the GPU memory is limited, it cannot hold all experts at the same time. The second challenge is heterogeneous links. When we use host memory as cache to solve the problem of limit GPU memory, the expert have to be broadcast from host memory to each GPU. In a typical GPU machine, GPU and CPU is connected by a PCIe switch and two GPUs share the same PCIe switch. In this way, each expert will pass the PCIe switch twice and there is redundancy traffic in the switch. So NV links are spare and PCIe links has much more pressure. The third challenge is busted traffic. In the MOE layer, the traditional way is to fetch experts after the data flow reached the gate. When the data flow reached the gate, the system waits for waiting experts, which is inefficient since the traffic is busted. The overview of genus is as follows. There are many GPU machines in the cluster. Firstly, each GPU machine has a host expert manager, which is responsible to fetch experts from other machines. With the help of host expert manager, Genus is a hierarchical communication for the inter-machine optimization. Secondly, each GPU machine has many GPUs and the host expert manager should set experts to the GPUs frequently. There are many heterogeneous links in a machine, such as PCIe links and every links. Genus designed the project aware communication for the inter-machine optimization. Thirdly, each GPU machine also has a scheduler for fetching. As for the busted traffic problem, Genus design prefetch strategy for traffic scheduling. Let's move on for each design. First one is hierarchical communication. Genus design an expert manager wireless in host memory. Each machine only fetch a copy of outside experts in integration and cache them in the CPU host memory. Then the manager broadcasts the expert to each GPUs. In the backward phase, each worker should send back gradients to original worker of each experts. The expert manager will then cache these gradients and reduce gradients of the same experts. Then only the summation results of gradients are sent back. In this way, the cross machine traffic is greatly reduced. The second one is topology aware communication. We want to make the best use of every link to release PCIe pressure. We separate experts in host memory into two groups. Each GPU is responsible for fetching one group through PCIe switch and fetching another group through MV links from its peer. The third one is prefetch strategy. It fetch experts once the model begins for computation. Suppose a model includes Verlina transformer layer and MOE layer. When token goes through Verlina transformer layer, all the attention and gate in the MOE layer, the experts are fetched at the same time. When tokens reach the gate, some of experts has been fetched and the system does not need a, to wait a long time for fetching experts. Our evaluation is performed on 32 GPU cluster. We evaluate the end-to-end -end performance on the three models, but GPT, transformer with MOE. Generous requires less iteration time than the tutor baseline. We also take application study of these optimizations. Compared with the expert-centric baseline, data-centric paradigm provides main contribution, and the topology aware communication and prefetch strategy makes an incremental and effective contribution. To conclude, Genesis is a unified distributed training framework for accelerating distributed MOE training. We propose a new training paradigm, data-centric. In data-centric paradigm, Genus reduces cross machine traffic with hierarchical communication. It accelerates inter machine communication with topology over communication. It also makes the best use of spare network resources with prefetch strategy. That's all. Thank you.